hello youtube and welcome to another windows tutorial so today we are going to talk about kgp yes we are going to talk about not the secret russian agency but rather than a file archiver called kgp so already let's get started so as you may know use some programs in, the, in order to compress files and folder so for example in windows you can use just zip or zip your files for example here i have a folder that contains some jpeg images and some documents here so i can just simply compress it by right clicking on it and send to compressed folder here as you can see so now I've got a zip file here so all the files here are getting compressed so if I check for example the size of this folder so it's about 33 megabytes and for my zip folder here I get only 25 so the folder is getting compressed okay we can also use a very famous program called WinRAR so I can compress the same folder using WinRAR as you can see here so I will add it to WinRAR so it will compress it I will get another file but this time with the extension .rar if I check the size it's even smaller 22 megabytes okay but lately there is some other programs so for example there is a very famous program called KGB so you go to your Google and you type KGB file archiver or just archiver and you get a link here the first link you click on it so we're going to download it and test it and see if it really has the best compression ratio as they said okay okay so as you can see here the last update is on 2013 so it's quite old so rather to click in this button here is this green button I will go to, to files menu and you see there is a folder here so I click on it and normally I get a beta 2 folder so I click on it yeah it's quite old actually <laughs> so here just you will find a .msi file so it's just uh, about 4 megabytes so I will download it okay so I get my file here so in order to execute that, this file here it's better because I'm running uh, Windows 10 and it's quite old one so it's better to right click and go to properties then compatibility then run you have to click this uh, radio button here run or this checkbox run this program in compatibility mode for previous version of Windows so I will apply that okay so now I can run it or install it okay so I get this uh, wizard here so I'll just click next I agree to the license and you have to choose actually the folder of installation so you go next next So now as you can see here in my desktop I have the icon here so the program is actually has been installed so now I can run it for the first time so it's give me just some options here by default to check for updates or to choose language so I'll just click OK and this is the main interface for that program so now I'll try to compress this file here or this folder here called test using this KGP archiver. So I'll go to choose my folder here, it's my desktop.
okay so, so so this is our test folder here so in order to compress it it's very really easy you can just click on it and hit compress so i will choose the compression algorithm which is paq7 and for compression level i will choose just the maximum <laughs> in order to see you can protect it also with, with the password but it doesn't matter so the extension is kgp so now i will try to compress it and see what's going on so all the files in this folder are getting compressed and we will try to see if i get a better compression better than the zip as you can see here or that rar compressed using winrar so we'll see So we are almost done here, but as you can see here, it took around 9 minutes, which is really, really a lot, okay, compared to other methods. So remember, the original folder was 33 megabytes, the zip file was 25, the dot .rar file is 22. So now let's see this KGP file here. Yeah, it's 19. Okay. Yeah, it's less, it's smaller than other methods, but uh, it took a lot of time. So for me, this is definitely not the best choice. We get a smaller compressed file, but not that much. And it took, as you can see here, nine minutes, which is a lot, lot, really a lot. So let's test another file. We have a video file here, which is a MP4 file. So let's try to compress it. But first, let's see its size. It's around uh, 26 megabytes. So I will compress it using WinRAR and see. So with WinRAR, it's really quick. And the file is, yeah, 24 megabytes. So let's use actually the KGP to test it and see if I get really smaller one. So my file is called Linux Swap. Okay, managing swap our compressed using always the maximum compression level. And we'll see. Okay, so as always, <laughs> the remaining time is really, really big it's around 15 minutes which is a lot here yes but it took around 13 minutes which is a lot okay and archive size is 24 so remember the original 26 that are 24 and also the KGP is 24 which is almost the same as that are archive so for me that was just a waste of time I will definitely not use this KGP archiver because you are wasting your time it's just a piece of shit but you can use it if you like to use uh, some original and weird programs as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye